bed bugs are bad. <laughs> You've experienced it personally? Yeah, I had bed bugs once. And uh, it's like, it takes three days to get rid of them. You have to go to the washing machines and, and hire a guy who comes with a all in white and, and spray some stuff on your house and, uh, and chemicals and stuff. No, it's serious. I mean, it's a, it's a pain <laughs> in the neck, really. It's a very good distraction <laughs> from news. It has fear. You are afraid of it. You itch each time you hear the name. <laughs> Uh, everybody is just talking about it, concerned about it. No one is thinking about inflation, about the war, about taxes, about how badly or well, well it's, they are. In fairness, it's because of these viral videos that have been popping yes. up on social but media. But they're all, they're all, it's all fake news because, you know, all the, these rumors pop up. Uh, they're in the metro, they're in movie theaters, they're someplace else. Then they go do an investigate. They don't, investigation. They don't find a single bed bug. Um, <laughs> but it's just like they're, they're, they're stamping out, they're fighting rumors of bed bugs, not actual bed bugs. I, right, must, I must say that I got my bed bugs in a hotel in Moscow, so that says it all. Talk about turning the tables. <laughs> when it comes to bed bugs, uh, it's uh, not just the Russians, by the way, piling the pain on the French. <laughs> there are bugs in Paris that are bigger than fleas, and they make you itchy. <laughs> they could be in your sheets. So check underneath, and if it were me, I wouldn't do Airbnb. <laughs> All right, and, and he goes on. Uh, there was a writer's strike. It's over, yeah. Nico uh, <laughs> Not soon enough. Uh, what do you think about all this, what we call here, French bashing? Well, I think this bedbugs crisis is an absolute classic example of mass hysteria, where um, you know, it's a kind of like contagious uh, thought process where um, people read about it because people are getting more excited about it and then there are more stories about it so then everyone's more worried about it and it's just one of those um, contagions. It's funny because New York City a few years back had a very similar Same. mass hysteria over bed bugs and people yeah. were panicking all over the place um, and the story seems to have faded away, but I've not seen any evidence to suggest that New York bed bugs have been tamed or um, have gone away. I think after a while, everyone just gets <laughs> bored of the story and moves on. Bed bugs have got worse over the last few, over the last few decades, apparently, um, but I think it's okay to just calm down. We don't need to worry about it too much. How, how much did it cost you, Paul Marrero, to get rid of it? I think something like uh, almost a thousand euros. Almost a thousand yeah. euros. That's a lot of money. And that explains why this has become now, an issue uh, with bed bugs inviting themselves to the French National Assembly earlier this week. The head of the left wing opposition even brought a vial of the critters to Prime Minister's question time. Six years on, your inaction is largely responsible for this explosive situation. The longer you wait, the more out of control this situation becomes. We demand a free, effective public pest control service that protects health and the environment. But then the transport minister, parroting the words of Matthew Dalton, insisted it's not an issue that uh, the government is, quote, and this is a quote, sweeping under the carpet. <laughs> there have been no confirmed cases of bed bugs in the cases that have been reported, particularly in the photos of the metro that have been circulating recently. I would also stress that bed bugs are often reluctant to be exposed to light. So when we have a case that is under the eye of a camera, so to speak, there is very little chance that it is a bed bug. But this has been checked every time. We will continue to take a serious approach, ensuring transparency, verification and preventative and curative action in, in public transport. That said, OK, the numbers have gone up, uh, just as the numbers of tropical diseases have gone up. And in, as, as uh, human beings migrate to cities, there are more cases of these things. There was a case where they had to fumigate uh, a school in Marseille recently for bed bugs. Well, I, I think France is more a victim of the world's interest in um, in France in, in terms of tourism um, than uh, you know infecting the rest of the world. It's basically, I, I mean, tourists are bringing uh, these these bed bugs to Paris <laughs> in their luggage um, from and, Moscow, and taking them. from from <laughs> from wherever, from New York, from wherever. It's just you know, the, the Paris is the most visited city in the world. It's the most visited tourist destination in the world. So, yeah, I mean, we're we're kind of being we're 
the, the world is inflicting their bed bugs on us, not not the other way around. Anna Navarro Pedro? Oh, mm -hmm. I think it can go wrong. <laughs> I was just listening to an interview of a scientist in a woman in Nevada. She worked for the local government and the governor. And she was saying, every day I get calls about bed bugs in Nevada, everywhere towns, rural areas, schools, uh, houses. So it's a general world problem. But um, I mean, someone is um, using it in France right now for some reason. <laughs> yeah, and the left is calling for the government to help uh, subsidize the fight against bedbugs. <laughs> Conservatives, not just the far right, are saying it's immigrants that have brought yeah, the Yeah, that's, that's, that's the example of, uh, it was a guy on CNews, which is like the French Fox News that said that, I just want to ask the question, I just asked the question, but we have so many immigrants now, maybe they bring bed bugs, and then there was an uproar, because obviously there is no evidence, and I mean, it's, it's usually bed bugs find a, uh, find a, a, a better nest in a luxurious place than in a, in a, in a tent with a, with a migrant. So. As, as my colleagues wrote um, when we covered this in the paper, uh, it's become a political Rorschach test in France. It's like, you know, if you're on the right, you blame immigrants. If you on the left, you blame the government not doing enough. And it's like, <laughs> you know, and, and yet there are really no, there's no bed bugs that they found. They haven't actually found a bed bug. Oh, the, the, the parliamentary woman in pink, we just saw before in the parliament with, she had a vial actually with the bed bugs. Mm. And I just remembered Colin Powell, <laughs> you know, in the United Nations with a <laughs> yeah. vial. <laughs> that yeah. we know now it was just water. <laughs> and I said, well, yeah. that is maybe not the best publicity. <laughs>